We're talking about shoulder blade position here. I only go shirtless when it's really important. So um, I'm probably giving you this exercise because your shoulder rests like this, or it likes to dump forward, you're having some shoulder pain. So the first thing, I, when people do this rowing motion, they often, they often don't move their shoulder blade, they just move their arm like this, creating this dumped forward position. What we really want is more of a scapular movement back here, okay? So one way to teach this, I ha I'll have people kind of lock their hands in and just move their shoulder blades here. Because a lot of people, they like to just do this. We want to work on moving the shoulder blades, okay? So the first step is just doing this 10 or 15 times, just to unload those blades. You don't want to shrug up into your neck from the back, it kind of looks like this, not up here like this, okay? Then when I grab the weight, I'm gonna let my shoulder kind of come all the way forward and I'm gonna pull back and finish about right here versus coming all the way back and dumping this forward and bringing my elbow way back behind me, okay? So I just wanna kind of pull back to here, pitch that blade down and back, so my shoulder comes forward, I bring it back. Now if I come out to the side, I wanna make sure I'm doing the same thing. If I'm coming, bringing that elbow out, this is gonna be a little bit harder. Usually I'm gonna to have to drop the weight, but I don't wanna dump that shoulder forward. This is gonna create a lot of problems. From the front, it's gonna look kinda of like this. So I can start down here, and I can kinda of work my way up to a more stressful position where I really have to make sure my shoulder's centrated in the socket.